We are currently streaming live from Mudan's police station where it's suspected that Honorable Davis Chama is being moved. The white vehicle, the white van that you can see, has Mr. Chama in it. And to pay some solidarity is uh, leader of the opposition, Brian Mundubile, and some family members are here. So we'll continue to give you live updates from Woodlands Police in Lusaka. Supporters and members. Is this how it's gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> it's Coming forth is uh, Honorable Chama's family and friends. Also, we can see Honorable Stephen Campiongo. Honorable Mundubile is also here. just want to get and uh, maybe an update from what has just transpired where has it been taken and uh, what do you expect well i mean we, uh, i don't think that number came huh? it's, uh, it's, it's, And we are already live. For this one, it's a match. It's a better match than the one we did to express yourself. For you, it's a match. So that we don't uh, get to We are waiting for them, we are already in.
said before, uh, political persecution has continued. It has continued through uh, these targeted arrests. Uh, we raised this issue in Parliament uh, when we questioned uh, why uh, these arrests have been conducted in this manner. Uh, there's never been a time in this country, uh, you know, when the police stopped to exist. Uh, most of these cases, if not all, are cases that the police dealt with before. And uh, we are seeing that uh, uh, the UPND government, under the leadership of his essence the president, back at the age level, uh, are bent on silencing the opposing uh, voice. They are bent on silencing the opposition political party now, a uh, patriotic front uh, through these arrests. But we want to assure him that we will continue to offer checks and balances. We will continue to question uh, the manner in which he's governing. So when he uh, uh, addressed parliament, he promised the Zambian people that he was going to govern using the rule of law. The Zambian people are watching. They are watching if this is what uh, it means to govern by using the rule of law through uh, targeted and selective arrests. Then we, we as Zambian people, we, uh, you know, uh, we leave it up to the people to judge, really, as to what is happening now is uh, exactly what uh, the people voted for. But I want to remind the president that uh, the power resides uh, in the people and when the people give you a mandate to govern, you must take that mandate and govern according to the aspirations of the mission of the people. So far, uh, what we are seeing uh, will not bring about the unity that he keeps preaching about. It will continue to bring divisions, not only uh, between uh, political lines, but uh, you know what we may call regional lines. Because we will not shy away from saying that um, when the president made this statement, he said this fight will not be tribal. That statement was unsolicited. Was he preparing the Zambian people with what was yet to come? Were these arrests premeditated? Because how did he know that uh, there was going to be, uh, you know, Zambians were going to complain that the arrests were going to be tribal? How did he know? We have said time and again that uh, for uh, uh, the state institutions to function, they must function independently, they must function freely. Uh, through SI 1123 that we objected to, we saw that the, the, the transfer uh, of these institutions to go under the office of the president. And we objected. But what we are seeing is exactly that. Because the question that we have, how did the president know what the Zambian people were going to say about the arrest? Meaning that the, the arrests were premeditated. So that is our provision. And we want to say that, look, he has an opportunity. He was given um, a wide mandate by the Zambian people, but it's up to him. It's up to him, you know, to hold that mandate and be able to govern with diligence going forward. What's the update with uh, this channel? We saw that the outside Well, that's what we're being told, but it's difficult to believe anything with our colleagues because they say one thing and do another. So we can't sit here to confirm that it's been taken to us and public. What they are saying, yes, is that they are taking interest and profit. But as you know, they are consistently inconsistent with what I said. So they can say they are taking to and province and we don't know where they are taking him. So we can't confirm. How can you describe this moment? Well, he knows that this is political persecution. He remains strong, you know, as, a, uh, as members of the Patriotic Front Party. It will not be broken. Our spirits will continue to be high. Because we know that uh, the Zambian people are watching. And we are here to say it as it is. So. Whatever attempts that will be made on any of us, our spirits will never be broken. We still remain very strong. Honorable thank you so much. Allow me to shift the attention to Honorable uh, Stephen Kankin, who is Chuangangu, member of parliament, of course, and former Home Affairs Minister. Honorable, you're welcome to Daniel TV News on the go. Thank you very much and uh, good morning. Your take on the arrest of our Honorable Davis Chama? Well, first and foremost, I think uh, my colleague has uh, spoken about our concerns. Um, but we must understand to mention that we are not above the law. We are just citizens like any other citizens. And it has been the same, uh, even when we occupied public office. Honorable Davis Chama is not an ordinary citizen. He is a um, former Minister of Defense, and indeed he is a respectable citizen. And um, he never at one any time did he try to stay away from the law. And so. Uh, the, the worry is that, uh, yes, we acknowledge that there is no statute of limitation and that any case can be revisited at any time, but we should avoid at all costs. And I'm at Ben, as former Minister of Home Affairs, 
to try and give an impression and I want to encourage the Inspector General of Police to make sure that um, he is a professional a man, he has been in the service for a long time and uh, it's important that um, they seem to, to be doing their work professionally to try and give an impression to the nation that there was a time where certain citizens were not amenable to uh, the same laws is, 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 is not a good thing for the nation. And um, I know that this is a matter that was uh, 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 investigated before and the records are there for the police to, 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 to fall on. And we would want to see the matter expedited um, professionally and uh, that uh, one of the Davis Chamawa has been moved uh, to uh, southern, uh, to western province is in, is in safe hands. We expect him to be safe until he gets there and uh, we shall be monitoring to see how this whole thing goes. But we, um, uh, like my friend said, we are not going to be broken. I mean, we, we also lend that service to the state and uh, keeping the nation safe and uh, we made sure that uh, no breakers were dealt with through the same institutions. They are not personal. These are uh, state institutions and no one should attempt to think that when they have got an opportunity to save the people, they won. I always uh, spoke when I was Minister of Home Affairs that it's not possible to micromanage state institutions. I never did. And I don't think the current Minister of Home Affairs and General Security should, uh, um, uh, the, the portfolio functions are so many at the ministry. So we are concerned, but we, are, we remain positive that uh, uh, these are matters that will come to pass. We are all not above the law, and we are ready to, 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 to face justice if they did there's something that uh, um, the people of Zambia think we, we did wrong. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And basically, I just want to say that, look, we trust that the police service will still remain a professional institution. I have every trust myself, because I think yeah, we did a lot of work to try and make them responsive to the, to the, to, to, to the public requirements. But of course, you know, uh, there's room for improvement at all times. But my emphasis is that we should not create an impression that there was a time when police couldn't touch certain citizens. Not even me as the then Minister of Home Affairs was above the law. If there was anything that was wrong, I should have been visited by the law, even as I was sitting in the Minister of Home Affairs. So we, we are here to see, but we cannot encourage the uh, Inspector General of Police. Uh, we have got every brief that uh, yeah, you you will be professional and make sure that all his men and women in uniform under his charge equally conduct themselves professionally. Thank you so much. The Deputy Secretary for the Patriotic Front has just arrived on the scene and of course we may want to get an official position from the Patriotic Front themselves so you can just come close so that we can interview you on Diamond TV on the go. You are welcome. Thank you. You've just arrived station, you are aware of what is uh, obtaining on the ground. What is your reaction to that? Yeah, I was here last night and I was here earlier on this morning and then when the colleagues said we are about to move our colleague, so I, I stopped what I was doing and I said to pass through here. For us as Patriots to front, we are very, very hopeful that uh, the current happenings, the current arrests of our members prominent members, which, have, which has formed a certain, a certain pattern, must, must be stopped. This pattern is not healthy. This pattern of doing things is not right. Because during campaigns or before that, are we telling the world and this country that it was only us in the patriotic front who were breaking the law. Is that possible? That it was only patriotic front who were on the offensive? Really? Is that what uh, President Haka Inde and Jack Mumbu are telling us? Is this vengeance? Is this retribution? 
it's not up to me to judge. The Zambians will judge for themselves where this will lead us. I was telling colleagues yesterday, I said, I think it's not worth, worth it to, to own a gun anymore because we go out there and buy a gun and uh, use it for protection when you are under siege. But it looks like immediately table stand in terms of governance, that becomes a crime. Self-protection now becomes a crime. So there are so many things that we, we are yet to learn from, from, from the UPND government and how they want to run the affairs of this country. But I want to just assure our people that uh, as PF we shall remain steadfast, we shall remain focused, our balls will remain, our eyes will remain on the ball because of one simple reason. The UPND promised the people of Zambia that they'll change their lives. Mule Kutika. Ten hours, I'm voted into office. Fourteen hours, things are happening. Ten hours, I'm voted into the office. This is happening. Mule Kutika, and you are still waiting. Kutika. So, diverting people's attention from the things that uh, you yourselves were promising the people to things that you never spoke about is totally unacceptable. So what we are waiting for you is to deliver. The budget is on the floor of the house. We are waiting to see how you're going to implement that unimplementable budget. We are waiting to see you kept on saying, no, we, we are finishing the PF budget. Our budget is coming. It's on the... We are waiting to see how that is going to be done. We are yet to see how you are going to give so much money to the mining houses and yet continue taxing the poor Zambians. It's, un it's, it's unacceptable. So we are here to watch. And if you think by doing all these arrests and harassing us and all sorts of nonsense that you are going to, to silence us, I think you've got something, something coming. So for me, my message to you, PND, that if doing all this kind of nonsense that you have now focused on, instead of delivering to the people of Zambia and you think you are, you are, you are, you are fixing us, you are fixing yourselves. What goes round comes round. And that's my message. What goes round comes round. Immediately you stepped a foot into state house. The next foot you are going to step is to go out of state house. It happens. So, what's the space colleagues? We are not. We are not daunted whatsoever. We are not going to be cowed. We shall remain steadfast and we shall remain focused. We shall proper. Pro, we shall offer proper checks and balances to the UPND government. And just lastly, to just encourage our members uh, out there that, um, yes, uh, the acting chairperson, uh, Honorable Davis Chama, is in strong spirits, and we are happy to see him uh, in such spirits. And uh, we are encouraged that um, uh, he's looking forward to his day in court. But to you, our members, remain steadfast and strong. This is a democracy that we have chosen for ourselves. We came from the opposition ourselves to form government, and we are back in the opposition. So this is a democracy that we have chosen for ourselves. But what we are not going to accept is to be trodden upon and um, a cow make us scared and get to um, abdicate our duties. We are privileged that uh, even as much as we are out of government, we have got a large number of uh, uh, people's representatives, in this case the MPs. So to our people, remain calm. We just had a very important uh, Central Committee meeting yesterday and uh, the, Secretary, the uh, Acting Secretary General we will communicate to the nation to inform them the way forward on uh, some of the resolutions that we, 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 we came up with. Um, as for I as think within the next seven days we're going to have a, a big con press conference. We are going to talk to these issues. And we shall call all of you. Yeah. And Boris G, just a clarification. Um, uh, apologies, I was late a bit. Uh, we also had social media speculating that the president had appointed uh, Mr. Bundubile, who is here. How true are those sentiments? So they are, it's just we issued just a statement me. last night where we said our role is to ensure that we level the playing field. His Excellency President Edgar Lungu has not endorsed any single candidate who would want to aspire. And we want people to respect people's aspirations. If I want Kampiongo to be president, I must respect those who are saying Mundubile must be president. Uh, Chakuti Chakuti must be, must be president. 
Pamunyoko must be, must be president, we need to respect other people's views and desires. And what we are going to do, we shall blow the whistle to say, colleagues now, go ahead and canvass your votes. President Lungu will not endorse a single candidate. I repeat, President Edgar Lungu will not endorse a single candidate and there is no favorite person to take over from him. His desire is that we level the playing field and the people are not harassed. Anybody who shows ambition, they have got a free human right to go ahead and aspire for the highest office in Patriot Front. And we have also focused on priorities. You may wish to know that uh, after the general elections, all our members of parliament, three quarters of our councillors, were petitioned. Yeah, of course, the, the, the tribunals have finished sitting and most of our councillors have been declared uh, duly elected. So uh, some of the, most of the, uh, if not all, the council chairpersons and mayors have equally been declared duly elected. We are still waiting for most, some of the judgments that are yet to come in case of uh, um, parliamentary petitions. So these are, are priority areas. Uh, but of course, like the SG said, they will have a press conference where um, further information will be given. We are going to go to the convention at the right time. And uh, like he said, people will be free to contest the presidency as the president has made it very clear that he's going, but he's going to oversee the transition um, in, uh, in terms of who comes in to lead the party. Yeah, we saw also the, uh, the, the, the resignation, the, the stepping aside of senior members, uh, the chairperson and the secretary general, all those uh, steps that are being taken uh, in order to realign the, the, the party. So avoid speculations. We know that our opponents uh, are feeding us but they shouldn't uh, think they will, they, they, they will get away with these maneuvers they are trying to come up with. You have, we have even seen some trying to change the law. Laws are changed in, uh, in Parliament. That's why Parliament is there, to change the laws. So if people are out of desperation, wants to start fixing things sit in under the law. A tree, sit under a tree and yeah, change the law. So that they can fix those who have been duly elected by the people. They are wasting their time. Because people's voices will always be people's voices. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you have it. Those are the live pictures of from Woodlands Police Station in Lusaka, where Honorable Davis Chama was uh, detained. But now the issue that's currently at hand is he's been moved, but com police have not yet communicated to reporters where he's been moved to. He uh, we've just seen the arrival of uh, former DMMU National Coordinator Chanda Kavwe. We've also seen uh, Nixon Chilango, who's also a um, PF official, just to pay their solidarity to their arrested colleague. We will continue to give you live updates. My name is Liambela Motomba.
Journalists are trying to get a word from Honorable Davis Chama's family as they are still here planning for uh, their next move. We'll be giving you live pictures from Woodlands Police.
That's when our Davis Chama's family are still regrouping to find, uh, to get to police, to be able to communicate to police to where they have driven their father, a husband, grandfather. Just been joined by patriotic front uh, publicity secretary Rafael Nakatinda.
Uh, just an update, uh, former defense minister Davis Chama has been transferred but his whereabouts are still unknown as police have not yet confirmed his whereabouts or where he's been taken to. His family is still camped at Woodlands Police Station in Lusaka awaiting an update. I've uh, just been joined by Rafael Nakatinda Munduhile is here, uh, the leader of the opposition, Honorable Stephen Campiongo, uh, DMMU former national coordinator Chanda Kawe. They're also uh, part of the group that I came to pay solidarity to the uh, member. Who's been arrested? Uh, it was a chance of Davis Chambers, yeah. who was Binoculars. My name is Biambela Mutumba from Movie TV. I would just want to get your reaction based on what has transpired. Well, and uh, Ms. Haka uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, this uh, harassment, intimidation, which has to continue, and uh, they will try and buy matters that are already set up some of which are sort of through the court process uh, we need otherwise. So for us, we can only but encourage the patriotic front members, patriotic front uh, uh, officials to be strong. This is a fight that uh, uh, we have to engage in, endure in the preservation of uh, Party, but our democracy. It's very unfortunate that the uh, people who have served this country, even at the level of our defense minister, are now even targeting the former president uh, who continue being harassed after their sacrifice and service to the nation. I think this uh, trend needs to come to an end. Africans will continue to remain a laughing stock because we never, never settle down and appreciate uh, uh, the service of others. We have always carried an attitude of wanting to rubbish others so that you can try and look good. But in the end, what survives is an asset. So instead of picking up from where we ended and be able to make progress now that they're in government, they are more focused and wasting time to try and fort find and find, you know, fort find and find something they can use to just discredit those that were in government in the last uh, regime. It's very unfortunate, but we can only say we are determined as patriotic fund to keep the party alive, to keep democracy alive. God bless. Before we let you go, this is the fourth arrest from some of your members. Are you shaken as patriotic fans that maybe uh, some now again there will be another one? How do you take the arrest of the fourth member of the patriotic fans? Well, for us, uh, we have been in opposition before. And uh, to that effect, what is going on is not a surprise. So we will definitely uh, continue to experience what is uh, happening and 
the, we can only impress ourselves for hard times. But the good thing is that those hard times always birth a revolution against the tyrants, against dictators, against vindictive leaders. So to this effect, Misaka and Eitrema is just helping to ignite in the hearts of the Zambian people a revolution against his brutal approach uh, to governance. Thank you. Thank you. We continue to give you live updates from Woodlands Police, where PF members, some PF members keep uh, are coming to offer solidarity to now uh, uh, former defense minister. We should just make mention that uh, Mr. Chama has been driven out of Woodlands Police. His whereabouts are still yet unknown, but we wait on police to give us an official statement. Family members are still here, patriotic front officials keep checking because they want to find out. For now, my name is Jambela Mutumba. Goodbye.